as you can see, this user account advertising access was restricted and I appealed and got it reinstated. And this is the message from Facebook, advertising access reinstated. After a requested review of your Facebook account, we, con we determined that access to advertising was incorrectly restricted. Your ads, personal ad account, and other affected advertising assets were returned to their previous state. We apologize for the inconvenience. So as you can see clearly, the appeal has been successful and it has been reinstated. And so now I'm going to show you the exact steps I have used to be able to reinstate this advertising account. This is a user advertising account, the highest form of restriction. And I have reinstated over 3,000 people's Facebook accounts directly in the last five years. And so if you follow this to the end and you don't get a solution, please don't worry. Leave your comments in the comment section and we will help you to be able to get your issue resolved. We also run ad campaigns for businesses uh, to be able to run effective ads that can generate them revenue. So you can you can you can check the WhatsApp links in the description. You can also check um our website link. You can check on our website. If I will help you, so let's go into the details of the steps that you can follow to reinstate your account. Welcome to this channel. In this video, I will teach you how to reinstate a disabled Facebook user account. As you can see on the screen, you are not allowed to use Meta products to advertise. This is because you didn't comply with one or more of our advertising policies affecting business assets, such as having too many ads rejected, attempting to circumvent our ad review process, participating in a fraudulent behavior or associating with untrustworthy account. We use technology to detect this violation and technology to carry out this decision. Further violations of our advertising standard may result in your account being disabled or restricted. Now you can see on the right hand side, confirm your identity and request a review. So when you see something like this, first of all, for those who don't know how to appeal, please, my advice is don't do this using a phone, do it on a computer, okay? It's better to do it on a computer because sometimes when you are trying to do it on a phone, it will fail and it will result in your account being permanently restricted and you can't even request a review again. I've resolved restrictions for more than 3,000 people in the last um, five years and I will help you to get your account reinstated. Now, how do you go about it? If you log into your account and you check on the left-hand side, you see something like, you see ad manager. Then when you click on it, it will bring you here. So you get to the ad manager and you see something like what you're seeing here. Facebook account is restricted from advertising. Yeah. So um, when you see something like this, what you need to do is that um, first of all, we have to request a review. And for us to request a review, you have to do certain things so that the re request for the review will be successful. What are the things you should do? You have to change your name and your um, birth date to match with the one on your ID card. What ID card are you qualified to use? Um, you can use a voter ID. You can use a national ID. In fact, national ID is the most recommended, followed by um voter id passport and then driving license if you have any of them you can use it to verify your identity so first of all uh, when you come to the account file you will come to the ad manager like this uh you can just click on see details or you can come here to click on all tools and you click on um account quality sometimes you will see account quality if you don't see account quality um you will see see details as you can see here, when you click on the C details, it takes you direct to the account quality. Um, it's like the account quality, of course, recently it has been changed to Facebook Home, Business Home, or Business Support Home, as you call it. It's just a new change, but it's, it's also what we call account quality, okay? So when you come to the Business Home or the Account Overview section, you see something like Request a Review request a review. So when you are to request a review, you have to confirm your identity before you can request a review. And as I said, um, this is the procedure to request a review. But before that, you come, make sure you come to your um, Facebook home, click on your picture on the top right hand corner, go to settings and privacy. From there, you go to settings, then go to personal details. You go to your name, you change your first and last name to match with the one on your Facebook account. Then 
you come back to the Facebook home, then um, you click on your name here, go to the about section, go to contact and basic info, then you have to change um, your birth date. If your birth date is not matching with the one on your Facebook account, uh, one on your ID card, you have to change it to match. Also change the gender if it doesn't match. Okay. Now, after that is done, you come back to account quality. Then you click on request a review. They will ask you to get started. Um, to confirm, you should confirm that you are the one. You should select cars, pass the security check. You may be asked to confirm your number. So you select the number and then send a code. So you put the code from your email that they are asking for a photo of yourself. You continue by uploading your photo. Then they are saying the image is too small. So you get a very clearer picture that fits the size. The aspect ratio should be four is to three. After that, you upload it. In some cases, they will ask for your ID card. If they don't ask for the ID, this in this case, they are not asking for the ID. They are using only the image to do the verification. They said, we are reviewing your information. You can go on to request a review. So I'm going on to request a review. So they are asking me why I'm requesting a review. You choose the third reason, the third option. That is another reason. Then um, you write a letter describing your problem. So this is what I wrote. I said, dear Facebook or Meta, my Facebook user account has been restricted from advertising. And I am told you are not allowed to use Meta products to advertise. This is because you didn't comply with one or more of our advertising policies, such as having too many ads rejected, attempting to circumvent our ad review process, participating in a fraudulent behavior, or um, associating with untrustworthy accounts. And this is really a big blow to my business because I depend on Facebook ads to make sales. And I don't have any intention to violate Facebook policies. I've taken time to study Facebook ad policies in detail as stipulated in and I will I, I, I quote the site where their Facebook policies are. And I will say, I went ahead to say that I know that this is definitely this is definitely a mistake. I know I haven't violated their policies because I've gone through all their advertising policies and I know this will definitely be a mistake. They should please review this account and get me and get my account, my user account reinstated. And I also went ahead to say that in case I made any mistake without knowing, they should um please consider me and then reinstate my account because. I'm just trying to advertise and not having any, any evil intention. And then I will go ahead to submit or send the review, the request for review. So as you can see, review requested. Thank you for submitting your account for review. We're always looking out for the security of our community. So while we are reviewing your information, your business won't be able to advertise. So uh, we will expect them to reinstate this account within 48 hours. So as you can see, when I refresh here, we we'll see, yeah, it's in review. And when they are done reviewing the ID card, they will reinstate it. So this is exactly what you need to follow in order to get your account uh, reinstated. Remember to leave your comments in the comment section. Um, you can comment, you can leave your comment if you have any uh, problem after following this procedure. If you still don't get your account reinstated, um, you can still leave, you can leave your comments in the comment section. You can follow the WhatsApp link to WhatsApp us for assistance on how to get your account really resolved. And we'll actually help you to be able to advertise. Thank you so much once again. And see you in the next video. Yeah. Bye-bye.